हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज लखन शर्मा वेलकम टू इंट कैरियर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हाउ अ बायोगैस प्लांट वर्क्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द बायोगैस प्लांट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बायोगैस एंड बिफोर बायोगैस वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय और व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय बायोमास एंड व्हाट इज बायोमास सो फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बायोमास सी वी आर स्टिल इन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जीज वी आर वी हैव नॉट finished yet the conventional sources and uh, we are not going to start today that uh, the renewable or uh, the uh, non conventional sources of energy but this is also an example of conventional sources of energy or we, what we can say using conventional sources of energy let's understand how it is a conventional source of energy but before that we need to understand biomass what is biomass biomass is all that thing which can be degrade or decompose um, automatically or we what we can say all that uh, uh, things which can be biodegradable which can be decomposes automatically with the help of some microorganisms which decomposes them for example the dead plants the dead leaves trees animals dead animals and the animal waste the poultry waste the human etc uh, so all these are the considered as biomass because they can be decompose with the help of the microorganisms automatically so all these things are considered to be a biomass now that's why we are saying that it is still a conventional source of energy or what we are saying is we are studying conventional source of energy for example jaise ki humne fossil fuel padha tha it is a conventional source of energy humne hydroelectric plant aur uski energy ke bare mein padha that is also conventional source of energy now usi fossil fuel jahan se wo fossil fuel jahan se prepare ho raha tha that fossil fuels are a results of million years process but what if we use immediately after the plants are dead or the animals are dead or the that waste human waste that are generated and the poultry waste vegetables so can we use that waste immediately why to wait for millions of years to convert them into the fossil fuels and then we can use the fossil fuels so instead of waiting for millions of years can we use that waste immediately so two problems will be solved first waste material can be utilized for that purpose and the whatever the result we will get we can use that thing as a fuel and that thing what we call is a biogas so bio biogas is a result of or we can say product of biomass if the biomass are decomposes under, under certain conditions in the certain atmospheres it results into biogas and that is what we have as a fuel or we can use that biogas as a fuel so this is biomass now let us understand what is biogas the other name of biogas is also known as or the biogas is also called a gobar gas why because this gas is formed the raw material for forming the, of this gas are most of the Uh, cow dung animal dung or the uh, cattle dung and the poultry waste so these are the biomass and the biomass results into biogas which is also known as gobar gas now in gobar gas or in biogas the main constituent of this gobar gas is methane almost 75% of the biogas is methane plus some other gases like carbon dioxide plus hydrogen sulfides are present there but most the major constituent of the biogas is methane and methane is a good fuel so the formula for methane is ch4 co2 and h2s so this is a result of biomass now how can we produce biogas so that we can use that biogas for various purpose or we can use that biogas as a fuel so let's see how we can utilize or produce a biogas this is a simple diagram for showing the process of biogas plant 
what are the different components that we have first of all we have a digester bed this is called bed the bed of the digester over which we have made a digester so this area this component of this plant is called digester and this is digesters bed all these digesters walls are made from the bricks so these walls which are shown here they are made from the bricks and this digester is having a shape like dome in the top so this is also called fixed dome type biogas plant the another name of the simple biogas plant is that it is a fixed dome type biogas plant here what we have is dome and this dome is uh, used as a storage or what we can say this biogas will be stored here in this dome and then we can extract this biogas from the digester so that's why we have a dome here all these things are below the ground level why because the microorganisms works very efficiently and effectively under certain conditions for example they cannot bear the temperature more than 35 degrees celsius and they are unable to withstand the temperature changes for example in our atmosphere we have different weathers for example we have a, a summer at which the temperatures may be at 40 degree or more than 40 degrees celsius winter seasons are also there the temperature may fall up to 10 degree or minus degree celsius so in this temperature range these microbes these microorganisms cannot uh, withstand or cannot work uh, properly so for that purpose what they need they need a certain temperature like 30 and 30 degree 32 degree celsius as well as they need a humid environment they need humidity so in order to provide this we generally build this biogas plant below the ground level at a, a depth of certain height depth of 7 degree uh, 7 feet or 8 feet around so all these components you are seeing right here is below the ground level this is the ground level and below which we have a digester and digesters bed so let us start how the uh, component functions uh, different component functions here so this is a digester bed the base the digester where the all the uh, slurry what slurry means slurry is nothing but a biomass all the biomass will be filled in this digester we have a dome at the top of the digester where all the biogases will be collected in this dome now this is the two gates in the digester we have two different gates and this is called the input and this is called the output or we can say this is in gate and this is out gate now this is what we call a storage tank here we will have the slurry and what is slurry and this slurry is nothing but biomass mixed with water so animal dungs and the cow dungs and the cattle and the waste vegetables fruits dead plants dead animals all of these are collected in this storage tank supply tank and mixed with water properly and this slurry when enters into the digester from this gate this slurry can be entered into the digester with the help of this gates so there is a slopey thing which directs the, this slurry to enter into the digesters uh, side and this is the out gate where we will have a waste slurry or we can say the used slurry will be collected in this side of the digester so what we have in this side is a slurry or we can say we have our biomass here now how it functions how it works how the biogas is produced so actually these microorganisms are present already present in the cow dung or the cattle dung they are already present in that dung but they need a certain environment and that atmosphere is provided inside the digester when we mix the water to the uh, biomass it uh, 
is a best place for the digest uh, for the microbes to work under the digester because here we will have uh, sufficient humidity as well as the uh, normal temperature range in which they can work properly so these uh, microorganisms in the absence of oxygen there will be no oxygen present inside the digester in the absence of the oxygen they convert or they decompose this biomass to produce methane you can see there is no oxygen or what we can say very less amount of oxygen will be present inside the digester so very less amount of carbon dioxide the more amount of oxygen will be present so all the carbon will be converted into carbon dioxide why because most of the biomass all of us animals plants trees all the shades and waste are made from carbon compound we all are carbon compounds so all the carbon will be converted into carbon dioxide if we allow sufficient amount of oxygen inside the digester so it is very important thing that there should not be oxygen or try to minimize the level of oxygen inside the digester so that all the carbon compounds will be decomposes into methane and methane is a very good fuel also so as the microbes works on the biomass and they decomposes they start decomposes it takes almost two months to decompose the biomass so it takes almost two months and after two months you will get this biogas filled in the dome this is the biogas they consist methane carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide all these gases will be present here and as the biomass converts and in, converts into the biogas it is starts increasing the pressure inside the dome which compresses this biomass the used biomass and then this biomass will be in this side of the digester they will come from this side as the biogas and uh, the starts forming formation of the biogas starts they start compressing this biomass and then this slurry will be in this side of the digester they are the used slurry and as the pressure increases this slurry we will be in this side of the digester and this is called spent slurry spent slurry means they are used slurry and we don't have much thing in this slurry this is also slurry this is also slurry but this is a raw material for us and this is a waste material but this spent slurry is very rich in nitrogen and phosphorus and that is why we can use this slurry as a fertilizer or we can say as a manure so we can use this slurry as a manure it is very good for the crops and the trees so this is the working of the biogas plant and uh, here the biogas will be taken out which can be used to cook food or to heat up the water or for the various purposes so these are the working of biogas plant how a biomass works the biomass how the biomass converted into the biogas what is the use of biogas see there is no disadvantage having a biogas plant we don't have any disadvantage whatever the raw material we are uses it uh, causes the waste material utilization which is very good all the waste can be utilized to convert into fuel which can be used for uh, various purposes as well as the uh, the product the output of this plant can be used as a manure in the uh, food or uh, growing in the vegetables so this is also we can say it is a renewable source of energy if we keep planting more and more uh, trees and uh, all that uh, vegetables and fruits we will get continuous supply of biomass so what we can say here is this biogas is a renewable source of energy so this is it from this video in the next video we will start wind energy thank you